Minnesota Orchestra approached me. At first, I was not sure if I wanted to write the piece or take it on. It's because writing a piece in response to such a horrific event was something that I wasn't prepared to do. I was working on an opera with Bamuthi at the time, and, and we had a lot of talks just about the world, and, and I knew his, his work. And after talking to him, I was like, we, I think we can do this. We, we can have something different to say. Breadth is a piece for spoken word orchestra and chorus that remembers George Floyd, the ancestor, thinks about American promise and yearns for an equitable American future. Breadth to mean bread, as in give us this day our daily bread. Breadth as in breath, the sustaining force of life. And breadth as in the breadth of the promise, the breadth of the task. Do you remember 2020? Do you remember its breadth? and the murmurs of a man with a speck of bread singed like the Lord's Prayer, singing in his choke-held throat, sitting flat. With this particular project, I knew that I wanted Bamuthi to be front and center. Having him in front of the orchestra would give the piece something, I'd give it life. Back to the wind so our spirit might hear it and vibrate a mitzvah incarnate and back again. The choir is an important element here because he's saying small phrases that mean a lot. So I wanted to use the chorus in a way that they accent or repeat those small phrases. Yeah, there's power in having a community of voices, but there's also um, kind of symbolic consistency of having a community of voices participate in the ritual and execution of, of the music. So it was also really important that this reading was open to the community. It invites collective and community dreaming of what comes next. Give us this day our bread. Before the fall came a duty to keep our ancestors fed. Carlos has like a, a really beautiful sense of adventure and creativity and restlessness that's exciting to work with. The fact that we are not the same elevates the nature of our collaboration. Sometimes I give way to his ideas, sometimes it's just the opposite. And, and it's always in service to the piece. At the end of the day, it's, it's about the, the message and the story and um, how it gets told. What can we not only say differently in terms of the topic, but what do we as folks that aren't based here, um, what can we contribute um, in terms of um, the healing of, um, of the landscape? We're saying yes to each other and to the community, but we're also saying yes to the responsibility. And um, I trust this brother in order to make that happen.